baby horny toad. Come here, baby. And she knows that my hand means food. So she comes when I she sees my hand. And I'm going to be feeding her a couple of little bitty baby uh, mini mealworms from my colony. Come here, baby. Come on. As I am low or actually out of fruit flies, I've been catching them around the house but uh, we've gotten into winter and had some really cold days and so uh, uh, there's been nothing caught lately for fruit flies and she's still pretty small for um, for the uh, the P. barbatus harvester ants that are that are native here in Texas um, she can have one or two at a time but she's still pretty little uh, for those and they don't provide quite enough nutrition yet because she's so small And the um, come here, baby Come here. Come on. Let's get a good look at you. Come on And uh, the uh, the mini mealworms that's not generally um Something I recommend is regular fare for horned lizards uh, because uh, there is risk of impaction if you feed them uh, too many, especially to a baby. Um, those are uh, very tiny, you know, baby mini mealworms that uh, are very soft bodied. And so uh, a couple of them, you know, every uh, few days, once a week or so, maybe twice a week tops. Uh, isn't going to be uh, an appreciable danger. Um, and uh, like I said, it's just uh, a little, little hard getting a small enough food uh, for her. Uh, win winter's pretty hard to uh, try to keep horned lizards uh, up and fed. <laughs> She's very cute, though. following my hand they're smart little lizards the uh, horned lizards um, are known to have the largest um, size brain relative to their body of uh, uh, I want to say probably of any reptile I believe it could just be lizards I'm thinking of, but I know of, of all lizards, they have uh, comparatively the uh, largest um, largest size uh, brain. Uh, So your bobber head, that's a little uh, head bob they do. Yeah, that little, little bitty head bob. That's her uh, little desert horn lizard head bob communication that they do to each other.